Good evening, viewers in lobby. How are you today? This is Sakina from Kellingo. I am going to teach you today, and we're going to talk about sports and hobbies. And the article is called "Better Brain Function: uh, Function Through Exercise and Dieting." Okay, so how do we focus on our brain to think better and to maintain it for later on? and for our daily lives as well okay and also our grammar skill today is going to be gerunds and infinitives so we're going to talk about that okay so we will wait for a few minutes guys until somebody comes and then we can start okay Hello. Alex, hello. how are you? Yeah, hello, Sikena. Sikena. Yes, good uh, to see you uh, again. Yeah, <laughs> I too. I, I'm fine. I'm very well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, uh, my girlfriend uh, will have arrived to me <laughs> soon. Really? <gasps> oh, what time is she coming, Alex? Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, she she will just uh, in Saturday. <laughs> oh, she will come on Saturday. Oh, yeah. you have lots of time. And how's the cleaning going? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, one room already. Uh, one room have already clean. <laughs> clean. Oh, great, goody! <laughs> so you have how many more rooms to do? <laughs> yeah, uh, tomorrow I will clean uh, the second room. I have oh only God. two room. Uh huh. And uh, I, I have cleaned the bathroom. Good. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, a little uh, clear, clean the, uh, the kitchen. <laughs> and the kitchen as well. I would leave the kitchen until the last day because you're always using the kitchen. And I think, yeah, leave the kitchen till the day before, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then scrub the floor and scrub the sink and use lots of bleach Alex with the sink so it smells nice and you want her to smell the apartment as well mm. and um, use also air freshener as well that's really nice do you guys in um, Ukraine get mm. um, a toilet color like a toilet color it's a cleaner as well but it's also a toilet color Mm, one moment. Mm, it, tur it, it turns the water in the toilet blue or purple. Mm, you get different colors. It's, uh, some light, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, 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 I see this in. I saw this in internet, uh -huh. but I do. I, uh, I have do this <laughs> done. <this. laughs> it's really good. You put it basically in the cistern, you know, in the toilet on the top. 
-hmm. and then you put it inside, you know, where the, the flushes go and the pipes are. Put it inside and then flush the toilet and then the toilet water turns a different color. And it mm -hmm. brings a fragrance to the mm -hmm. bathroom. It mm -hmm. makes it smell nice, basically. Oh. So it's really nice, definitely. If you can try and look for that, that would be really uh, good. Uh, I think uh, it uh, doesn't uh, doesn't sell in our shops. Oh, I doesn't have, uh, matter. Yeah, I have uh, I have never seen in shops this. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll just use bleach then. Lots of bleach make it smell nice for her. You know. Yeah. In the, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you going to cook for her when she comes, Alex? Um, I, I, I'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> about You this. have to cook for her, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> oh, okay. that's a typical man's response. Alan would say the same thing as well. Maybe you give me advice. <laughs> yes, well, I don't know what you guys eat in Ukraine. I don't know. Um, mm. Well, why don't you make traditional fish and chips? That's easy. F f fish and chips? Yeah, fish and chips. Fish uh, chips, chips. and chips. You know, like fries, French fries. Make that. Chips or pasta, spaghetti bolognese. Uh, yeah. I, I like more um, carbonara. Carbonara. Oh, yes. Or make that. Yes. Yeah. Or also masaka. Masaka. Moussaka. Yeah, moussaka, this one. Masaka. Now, masaka is really nice. It's basically potatoes Ooh. and mints and paprika, red paprika, and then cream on top. It's really nice, actually, that one. I see. Masaka. Yeah, I, 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 I found the picture. Very, <laughs> very nice. It is nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you can make something, something unique, and I think she would like it. So you know, I think it's mm -hmm. a nice thing to do. Or you can either just take, get a takeaway, fast food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I have um, cooked uh, cal uh, carbonara already or already before. Wow! And how was it? How did it go? Was it successful? It's, uh, it was an, uh, never, It's uh, not uh, difficult. It's very mm -hmm. simply. Um, uh, but uh, you, but I um, uh, I can't use uh, the kitchen eggs. Okay. Uh, because uh, it's uh, don't, because in our countries. Uh, the egg doesn't quality it isn't it isn't quality isn't quality oh, okay yeah it's uh, this egg uh, eggs can um, uh, include some dis diseases diseases and really? it's very uh, uh, it's very dangerous to use uh, a mm -hmm. fresh egg you need to, to, to uh, fridge no high temperature um, so I use a little egg, uh, eggs. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, not so dangerous like uh, kitchen. Uh, I use um, uh, one moment. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's a uh, bird on English. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think I see. Car I I think I seen carbonara before on the internet. It's like a mm -hmm. Spanish. Is it a Spanish dish? Yes, oh, oregano. Yes. Spaghetti is, uh, with uh, bacon and with sauce. Oh, bacon! Oh, <laughs> I, well, yes. I, I, I would probably add chicken instead of bacon. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I seen it, and it, it does look really delicious, Alex. Maybe you can make that for her. Again, I think, <laughs> I think uh, I need some different uh, like. Mm. Uh, Osaka. <laughs> yes. Look, Alex, I can send you the recipe if you want me to, and you can make it. For, it's very, very easy. Very easy. Yeah, I see. It's a, a traditional dish. Uh, yes. Uh, it's traditional dish in uh, uh, Middle East. Yeah. Yes, and um, Middle East, and also in Europe, they make it in Europe. I think in um, I think in Greece they make it, and also Bosnia and um. 
I think Bosnia, Serbia, Croatia. I think they make masaka. Yes, quite popular. Uh, on Balkan in middle uh, middle east it's uh, right on Wikipedia <laughs> oh is it does it say that oh yeah you know you know where I got that recipe from Alex my mother-in-law <laughs> she gave it to yeah. me so I've taken it and I've just used her recipe there are so many other things that you can make you know um but, you know, I think the masak is a unique dish. I think she will like that. Lo Everybody loves potatoes, so you will not have a problem, unless your uh -huh. girlfriend doesn't like potatoes. Yeah, you know, oh, very well like potato. <laughs> there you go. Everybody likes it. So I think, you know, definitely it's a good choice. And then you can say, yeah, Sakina gave me the recipe from Kalingo. <laughs> no, you're not going to say nothing. You're going to say, I made this one up. <laughs> no, say nothing. Hopefully she'll not ask. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'd be pleased if my husband cooked me a dish. I wouldn't say anything. I'd just eat it. <laughs> That's what I would do. I wouldn't ask any questions. So, yeah. So there you go, you'll have her and I'm sure you'll be very happy now I spend a bit of time together when she's here. Now, Alex, we have lovely grammar to do today. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, the topic is sports and hobbies. And the article we're going to talk about is better brain functionality through exercise and dieting. So we're going to read about that. And we are going to focus on the grammar. The grammar is going to be gerunds and infinitives. Have you mm -hmm. done gerunds before, Alex? No, no, no. It's my first. Uh, it's my first lesson. Okay, very, very easy. I think the most difficult part about gerunds and infinitives is just the meaning. You know, there can be different meanings with gerunds and infinitives, but it's just a matter of practicing them and using them. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to go through that today. And before we jump into the grammar, a question for you, Alex. Mm -hmm. What are a few of your favorite activities on the weekends? Mm -hmm. What do you like to do when you're free? Mm. I know you play games. <laughs> oh, tally me. Naughty, Alex. Yeah. Say nothing. Tut -tut. <laughs> yeah. So when that could be one. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I have free time, <laughs> I yeah. sometimes play games. <laughs> yeah, oh no, the, the man, I think you guys love your games, don't you? Alan's yeah. the same, he just loves to play his games. Yeah. God. So sometimes we play together. <laughs> uh, do you? <gasps> oh, you guys play together? I wonder how is that possible? Uh, because uh, he the and uh, I, uh, one uh, on the lesson, um, he, we talk about um, games, uh, and um, I, I said uh, my favorite games. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, Alan said he he has to choose this uh, game, favorite oh game. Oh, my God. God, is that Battlefield, something like that? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Battlefield. Oh, I'm <laughs> sick of that game. You know how many times he's been playing that game? He's been playing that game for years. Like, it's about time to jump onto the next game. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't like games. But I'm, I'm just... we play a little, a little time. Uh, I hope, Alex, you can be a good influence on Alan. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, now Alan, time's up. We can start playing the games now. <laughs> but I think all guys like to play games in their own time. I think it gives them some peace. And uh, what else, Alex? What else can you think of? Why Why do you like to play games? What else does it give you? Uh, 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 I don't know. I play this game for six or seven years in wow. this game in Battlefield. Battlefield, yes, yeah. yes. 
Uh, so yeah. it kind of gives you a challenge. It's just a good challenge, is uh, it? I, I think it's um, this game can. Uh, it's not boring uh, when uh -huh. you're boring. It's uh, very good. You can speak uh, and another people. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's. Um, I think I like this game because it's very tactical game, like sports, uh, like football. But I don't need to go to stadium <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> running. I. I can just sit on my <laughs> bed and, and uh, to have uh, enjoy like football or another yeah. game. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's very the same feeling like really? sports wow. or like uh, especially this game. Another game I don't like. You don't I don't like play uh, another game. I play only one game. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I don't have another and game. So you, you stick to the same game then, okay. Um, what about, so what about if you're not playing games, what do you tend to do at the weekends? Sometimes I have periods when I don't play in games. It can be for three months or four months I can, I can uh, don't mm -hmm. play games. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when I was, when I was very busy, and I need uh, to hot learning or something. I have some business deals, some deals. Okay, okay. And Kalingo, Kalingo. <laughs> yeah, Kal <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, when it was uh, when I was uh, learning, I was learning in the university. Uh, some mm -hmm. fields uh, I need uh, very strong learning, and mm -hmm. I don't have any time to to gain. Mm -hmm. and, to play game. So, of course. <laughs> no time for games, Alex. <laughs> it's all about the studying, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. And uh, if um, the weather is good, uh, I, I can go to run. Uh, oh, okay. I, I don't play football because uh, I, uh, I, I live. I live in another town. It's uh, it's for oh. it's for me. Um, one moment. Uh, it's mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, it's uh, for me. It's str uh, strange Too town. Far? Uh, oh, str strange, uh, strange for town for me. I, I don't live this before. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, for me new town. I don't have. Uh, and uh, I don't know another people in this town. I don't know. <laughs> I mm -hmm. I don't know anyone. So mm. I I don't have uh, friends uh, in this town, and uh, I don't know how to get uh, how to uh -huh. play football. When I live in my ch when I live my uh, <laughs> one moment. It's okay. This translator is very handy, very uh, convenient. Yeah, uh, when I uh, have when I was living uh, in my native town, mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, many friends, uh, we, we, which I can go to football together, play football together. Uh, so, uh, so in there, um, I, I just came to run, mm -hmm. and that's all. I, I can't play football or hockey because I don't have any friends in this in there. Uh huh. Yeah, and that strange town. Yeah, it's strange <laughs> town for me. Yes. Yeah, I know it's a bit difficult when you don't have any friends to play football with, and you kind of stuck of what to do. Um, you can't really play football or hockey by yourself, so you have to know people, don't you? Yeah. So I need friends. For, yeah, for for play football yeah. or hockey. Mm, yeah. Well, you know, try and keep active. It's very important, isn't it? If you can go for a walk or run or something like that. And yes. then, of course, in your own time, you can play a bit of games. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so I choose to uh, uh, play better foot or go for a run. <laughs> and, yes. Uh, now we have uh, winter. So oh, yeah, so everything's prefer, indoors. So, so I prefer the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, who wouldn't? I think I would prefer to stay indoors than go outside. But with them, um, I'll probably think of doing something else, you know. But I think it's a guy's thing. Guys just love their games, don't they? Yeah, because I don't know what uh, I can do. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. sometimes uh, I read books, but it's mm -hmm. usually about uh, about uh, my professional books. Okay, that's good. It's good to read also in your spare time. It's very good to read. Yeah, I just wish I had the time to read. Well, anyways, Alex, let's get <laughs> stuck into the lovely grammar, shall we? Okay, so first, with <laughs> gerunds, okay, we're going to focus on gerunds and infinitives, okay? So let's have a look at some examples of what they are. There are certain verbs that can be followed by gerunds or infinitives, but with a change in the meaning, it can be difficult to see the difference. So the first sentence here, they started to speak to him. So mm -hmm. the two is an infinitive. Okay, mm -hmm. so infinitives are the two, and the gerunds with are with the ing here, mm -hmm. the second sentence. Okay, so the meaning. Can you maybe think what that's trying to portray or what it means? So they started to speak to him. Mm -hmm. What do you think it may mean? Okay, we know they started to speak to him. What were they not doing before? Yeah, I understand. What does it mean? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the meaning they were not speaking to him until now. So yeah. now they started to speak to him. Yeah. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's good you understand, Alex, because a lot of students they get confused with the meanings. So that's good. Okay. Let's have a look at the ing with the gerund. They started speaking slowly. So mm -hmm. the meaning of this one, they were speaking, but now the pace has slowed down. Okay, mm -hmm. it's reduced. Okay, mm -hmm. did you understand that meaning there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's okay, great. So there you go, infinitive, first sentence, and gerund, the second sentence. So with the second point, there are also certain verbs that can be followed by gerunds or infinitives with little to no change in the meaning. So like a simple sentence like this one. She likes to clean the house. Okay. And then we have another sentence with the gerund. She likes cleaning the house. Okay. So can you maybe think of an example, Alex, what you like to do with using first and infinitive? Okay. Uh, I, I'm thinking about the difference between these two sentences. Mm -hmm. uh, now that first two section, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the same meaning. The, it is kind of the same. See, with two, with infinitive two, a two can have different sets. You know, it can mean an interest to do something, to interest, mm -hmm. a plan to do something mm -hmm. in future. And now when you're looking at the ing, it's something that's in present term, present tense, something that's happening at that moment in time. So that's usually the, the difference between two and ing. But in a way, they kind of mean the same, you know, meaning she likes to clean the house. So this is like a wish type of thing. This is an opinion of this girl here. She likes to clean the house. Yeah, she mm -hmm. likes to clean the house. And then when you're looking at this one, this is like an action type of thing. She likes cleaning ah, the house. Uh, she she is cleaning uh, now, and uh, yeah. we we are looking uh, at she, uh, and yeah. we say she uh, because we see she she likes cleaning the the house. We we are seeing this now. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. Present tense with the ing. Any verb that you see with the ing, I, I, Alex? I understand, yeah, I understand yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you understand the difference then, yeah? Yeah, 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 I two? understand, yeah. Okay, great, great. So there are a couple of examples. So can you maybe think of an example? Mm -hmm. What you like to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe talk about your girlfriend. What does she like to do? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Alex, I hope you can answer that one. 
It's very difficult. <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh -huh. You take your time. Take your time. Don't rush. Uh, uh, it's very difficult mm -hmm. because uh, she don't have uh, enough free time. Mm -hmm. uh, she, well, maybe she has a, a long way to to job, and uh, so mm -hmm. she doesn't have enough free time. And uh, but uh, I think uh, she 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 likes uh, to read a um, uh, 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 romance uh, the, the romance books. Oh, romance books. Oh, okay. About romantic. About romantic. Oh, she likes to read romance books. Oh, that's yeah, nice. John Eyre or or um, uh, a remark. Uh, maybe you heard about this. Uh, uh, Maria Remark. No. No, I haven't heard of that one, Alex. No. No, this is new to me. Uh, 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 remark you. Ah, yeah. Erich Maria, it's a uh, it's Deutsch um, writer. Oh. Oh. I, will, I will type Erich Maria Remark. It's a oh. man. It's a man. Oh, it's a man. Eric, but yes. It's a, it's but then a, Maria. It's like, uh, it's like a nickname in writer. I, oh, know. like a nickname. Uh, Thing. Okay, yeah. remark. But, uh, uh, pseudonym. Uh, pseudonym. What moment? Uh -huh. uh, uh, alias. Alias. It's alias. 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 Okay. Alias. No, I never yeah, heard of this alias. name before. No, I never heard of this name before. That surname is a very unique surname. Remark. Remark. Uh, yeah, I, I have tried to, to read. Uh, uh -huh. His books, but I don't like. <laughs> you don't like them? They're too romantic for you, Alex, or just a bit. Ooh. It doesn't. It wasn't be interesting I, for me. I I think yes. I think romantic novels are for ladies. I do think this. I think just ladies they like to read a lot of romantic books, and you know, I think men have a kind of different idea when it comes to books, you know, but. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I like to read romantic novels as well. It's just a woman's thing. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. So I, I can't blame you if you don't like the book, Alex. <laughs> I, I usually read about uh, fantastic or fantasy. I, yes. Uh, I really like uh, R Ray Bradbury. Uh, maybe you know this writer. Uh, uh -huh. Ray Bradbury, Tolkien, uh, Ring of the Lords. Oh and yes, yes, yes! I've heard of that one. Uh -huh. And uh, I have uh, read uh, all parts of Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, Harry <laughs> Potter. Oh, you are a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I, I don't fans, but it's very good uh, book. Uh, I like yes. these books. Uh, sometimes uh, I have re read uh, several times uh, uh -huh, the same uh -huh. books. Um, you, you know, Alex, what it's good. You know what a lot of people say. If you read the books before the movie, it's always better. The yeah. book seems more interesting than actually watching the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't course. that right? Yeah. So instead of watching movies, people tend to like to read them first and then watch the movie. So yeah, that's what we do here. I'm sure you guys do the same there as well. It's logical thinking to read the book first. Yes. But I just don't have the time to read. I would love to have the time to read. I just don't. I'm always studying. When I'm not studying, I'm doing the housework. When I'm not doing the housework, then I'm um, doing my lesson plans. Oh, it's just never <laughs> ending. <laughs> so there you go. But it's definitely good to read. Whenever you have the time, it's really, really good. Yeah. Your your girlfriend's doing a good thing reading. That's okay. great, great practice for her, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so let's focus on the next part now um, with the gerund. So, important note, Alex, that the first two sections can be confusing to not only students learning English, but also to native English speakers like ourselves. If you are using an infinitive, think as if you are discussing a potential to do something. You see, like I said, with to, infinitive. When mm -hmm. we're using to, it's something that you intend to do. 
and you have the the um let's see you have um, you're talking to a friend about something that you're planning to do intending to do if you are using a gerund think as if you are talking about a real activity or experience that is taking place so you managed to get this one cleaning that is taking place at that moment in time due to this there are times when you cannot use both of them so here are some examples when we cannot use both of them here for example um, there are B plus adjective combinations uh -huh. adjective, that are followed by infinitive so when we put the adjective with the two let's have a look he was delighted to stay for another night talking about a guy <laughs> he was delighted. Oh, okay. So delighted as an adjective and then infinitive too and then the oh. verb. Okay. And then ha having, having a look at the next one. She is pleased to visit her grandmother on Saturdays. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have the adjective combination that are followed mm -hmm. by the infinitive. Yeah, pretty straightforward, the, the, um, the gerunds and infinitives. Um, can you maybe think of one example using this um, combination, mm -hmm. Alex? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So think of it as you are talking about somebody. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, somebody that has liked um, uh oh. <laughs> uh, Maybe uh, yeah. the, the word uh, happy <laughs> exists. <laughs> happy, happy. Did you say? Uh, I see. Uh, uh, I see ed on the end on the la last uh, letter. I see ed. So if I want to say he was happy, uh, so I, I need to, to add ed or something. <laughs> he was happy. Well, then you would have to put to have stayed for another night. If yes, so you kind of have to um, use yeah a, a different approach for that with the ed. Yes. Um. He was uh, happy to play football. <laughs> yes. Great, yes, yes, that's perfectly yeah. fine. He was happy yeah. to play football, yeah. yeah. You're talking about a person that um, has a, a delight in playing football. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Um, and, of course, the second one as well is the same. You have, you're having the adjective there, um, and then you're having the two, <laughs> infinitive. Yeah, very good, okay. Um, and then also there are nouns, Alex, that are followed by infinitives, okay? So, for example, we have this first one. The proposal to have the party at my house was a nice gesture. Mm -hmm. Okay, proposal as a noun, and then infinitive two, and then the verb. And then the second one, his wish to visit her came true. So wish, and then to, and then visit, verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. And um, they are just nouns that are followed by infinitives. Okay? So there are different ways on how we can use infinitives. Different ways. Okay? And then we have the next part here. Infinitives can be used to show that there are necessary or to show a dependency. Okay, so we have he works to save money for college. So, meaning to save, he works. Okay, mm -hmm. second one Timmy uses the internet to learn English. Oh, there you go. Alex uses the internet to learn English. Alex wants to use the internet to learn English simple as the meaning yeah. okay so this is this these two sentences have a dependency okay without the internet we will not be able to learn English okay without uh, money you would not be able to go to college okay so that would be dependency depending on something and then we have words such as to and enough are used in combination with other words mm -hmm. in many cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so 
So, for example, you want to read the three examples, Alex? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, I can. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Uh, the car is too small to carry all of the people. So this car can't <laughs> do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's tiny. <laughs> and it can't carry, it can't fit all the people inside the car. Yeah. 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 Uh, the train is moving slowly enough to jump on board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the meaning, that one. Mm -hmm. We have enough time to watch the entire movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So have a look at this sentence here. The train is moving slowly enough to jump on board. So the meaning since it is slow enough they can jump on the train. Okay mm -hmm. and then the meaning for the last one. If there was less time we could not watch the whole movie. It's impossible. And that's pretty much it for two and enough. Okay. And then last but not least, Alex, mm -hmm. there are also common expressions used before a gerund. So we have the first question here. Why did he have problems staying after the class? Okay. They always have fun staying late, joking with each other. So these are just common expressions, you know. And with using the ing, which is the gerund. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it, Alex, with gerunds and infinitives. Now, are there any questions you want to ask about both of them? No, no. You're pretty much aware of what a gerund looks like, an infinitive looks like in a sentence? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is pretty straightforward. It is. Um, you just have to learn just I think a lot of students get confused with the meanings of the two and the ing mm -hmm. I think that's probably what it is but um, I think it's just a matter of practicing and knowing what they can be used with adjectives nouns they can use uh, infinitives can be used to show dependency on something necessary on something and with gerunds we can use it with um, expressions and verbs as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, Alex, with this one. Okay. Um, yeah. So, are you sure you don't have any questions? Yeah, I understand. Uh, all, all understand. Uh, uh, but um, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't the same like uh, our <laughs> in our language. <laughs> we usually say the same sentence is oh. different for us. For example, second uh, uh, second case, uh, we say we doesn't say different sentence, uh, we use uh, the same sentence for uh, talking uh, this. <laughs> it's oh. doesn't different for us. <laughs> so it's so similar in a way. Okay. Similar, yeah. She likes to clean the house and uh, mm -hmm. she likes to clean the house. Is uh, mm -hmm. we doesn't change this. We don't change this form for mm -hmm. for using. Uh, she likes cleaning the house. Is um, we use uh, the same sentence. On the first. Oh, oh, that's a bit easier for you then with English. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes uh, it uh, easy, so sometimes but uh, uh, sometimes uh, English more easy mm -hmm. than uh, Russian. For for example, uh, I like English uh, because uh, um, he this language doesn't uh, have so many. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so many, so much, uh, so much, so much. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, end, ending word. Uh, finish. Uh, um. Uh, close. Closure. 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 Uh, ah, so many closure yes. like, like Russia. We have all very much <laughs> closure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. No, I would definitely think Russian would be harder than English. Oh, yeah, I think so. Even though I don't know Russian, but I think English is a very easy language to learn. Yeah, English more logical than Russia. Russia is more emotional 
uh, language. Uh -huh. uh, English, I think, is my is my opinion. I think uh -huh. uh, English is m more logical. This language uh, uh -huh. have logic uh, um, system, logic uh, uh, rules. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> but Russian, uh, it's uh, y if you want to learn Russian uh, like uh, mm -hmm. lo some logic, <laughs> you can. <laughs> you need to <or> remember. <laughs> you, you oh can. really? Yeah. Oh god. Well, I think I'll stick to English for the time being, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think because um, I was trying to learn a bit of Arabic before uh -huh. when I was because I was living in Egypt for two uh -huh. years. I don't know if Alan's told you that, but yeah, we were living there. And I had to learn a bit of Arabic, Alex, because majority of the people speak Arabic and it's like not well, you know, people do speak English, but it's very broken English. And okay. especially if you want to get around, if you want to go to town, if you want to get from uh, from A to B, you will have to speak Arabic because the taxi drivers they don't speak English. Majority of them don't. Mm -hmm. so. I, I think Arabic language uh, 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 hard to difficult. <laughs> difficult. Yeah, difficult to. Oh, it is. It is very, very difficult. A lot of people said that. Yeah, but, it is. But, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, good uh, that. Uh, uh, I don't need to learn China or Japanese. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just English, and you're very lucky that English is like yeah. worldwide spoken language. Yeah, I, I, I happy to learn English. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing pretty well, Alex. I'm very Thank proud you. of you. You're doing Thank very you. well. Yes, keep it up, keep it up. But um, I am thinking now because you are pretty much aware with grammar. We can do the assessment now, Alex. Because of the time, uh -huh. um, we can't do the article because uh -huh. Alan. Because this is Alan's class. I've taken Alan's class now, and his article is very long. So I don't think we'll have time to read the article. However, we can do the lovely assessment. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so let me just get this open for you, and uh, we can do this assessment. Okay. Um, let me do this two seconds. So, what's the temperature like in Ukraine? Is it really cold? Uh, 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 you you talking about uh, nowadays, yeah? Or yeah, now in winter, what's the temperature? It's not as cold as you could, Scott. Uh, it's a uh, it's a very warm uh, winter. Uh, in this uh, winter, <laughs> in this mm -hmm. period, um, uh, because uh, I, I look uh, uh, in future prognosis, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, I I have seen uh, that uh, we we will not uh, to have uh, a temperature uh, below zero. We do, will not to have. Oh, you will not. Okay. Will not. It's uh, f uh, it's have never been before there. Usually, uh, in my t in this town, uh, mm -hmm. in the winter, usually about uh, six below uh, zero, mm -hmm. uh, minus six c Celsius. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But uh, in this uh, winter, usually will be about plus three, plus four. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will be all winter. Wow. Mm. It's very it is cold, yeah. I think it's not too bad, but Ivan, where he lives, oh my god, minus 40. My yeah, god. but it, uh, it's uh, a little, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's uh, minus 40, but my uh, grandfather will, will, will uh, have been in Siberia. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, this in the region he was, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he thought uh, uh, too uh, that uh, will be very cold. But uh, but uh, he said me that it doesn't uh, so cold like you thinking uh, mm -hmm. because um, uh, the wet very low. You mm -hmm. you doesn't feel this cold because wet very low. If mm -hmm. wet very low, uh, I think it's minus uh, forty. It's 
feeling uh, mm. like um, my minus 25 in this town or mm -hmm. in Moscow. Okay. Uh, so it uh, doesn't the same. It's the same. Okay. It doesn't the same. It doesn't the same. Mm -hmm. So I think it doesn't it, feel this. It doesn't feel different. It doesn't yeah, feel different, because yeah. uh, wet very different. Mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, in Siberia, very in one moment. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, we uh, are getting uh, well, we are, very dry, dry climate. Very dry climate. Uh, very humid. Humid, dry. It's the same, so yeah. it doesn't cold. Yeah, it's very it's cold, cold, but uh, it doesn't so cold. It's not so cold. It is not so cold. Yes, because yes. it's very dry climate. Yeah. Wow, and I suppose people get prepared because they have winter clothing, then big thick jackets. Oh my God, like sleeping bags. Yeah, I, I have bought. <laughs> one oh, you have one as well, really? I want one. I have bought recently in uh, in uh, one shop, American shop, um, oh. Eddie Bauer. Uh, they they the first cr create this uh, this jack. Uh, they wow. uh, they. Um, uh, they invented. Uh, they mm -hmm. have invented uh, uh, Jack Down. Jack Down. Really? Yeah, and uh, he have created the first Jack Down. The, mm -hmm. Yes, they. Wow. Invented the, this Jack. <laughs> You know, I bought this beautiful jacket in one of the shops, and it's so amazing, Alex. It, when it's so cold outside, and I wear it, I don't even feel cold. It's just amazing. <laughs> so I love my jacket. I love wearing warm jackets. I just feel oh, it's lovely and warm. But yeah, I have so many jackets. Don't even go on about that. Right, assessment time, Alex. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so what I want you to do, it's a matter of just seeing the differences between in the infinitive uh -huh. or gerund, okay, with used in certain verbs. So I will give you a verb, okay, and uh -huh. you will create a sentence with an infinitive and another one with a gerund, okay, and you can explain the differences between the two. Okay. <laughs> so tr okay, so try this one. Try uh -huh. um forgot. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So first focus on the infinitive. Uh -huh. Okay. Infinitive will be to forget. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, um, uh, but you can also use forgot. You can use the same tense. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I yeah, I'm ready. I have one sentence. I oh. want to, for, for example, I want to forget birthdays. Uh, uh, I want uh, to forget uh, birthdays. Or you can say yeah, no, 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 Thursday, no, uh, bad, bad, bad days. <laughs> I, I want, I want to forget bad days. Ah, uh, I want to forget bad days. Okay, yeah. yeah. Want to forget it's bad infinitive. days. It's infinitive. It's infinitive. That's okay. That's okay. Yep. Um, um, what about with a uh, gerund now with the ing? This where it gets a bit harder. Uh, <laughs> I know you can do it. I know you can do it. So you can use the same thing. You can use forgot or forget. It's up to you. So remember, ing. Mm -hmm. Happening at the moment in time, or something that you're planning to do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Or you can talk about someone, what that person yeah. was doing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you are for, uh, you are forgetting me when I will say this. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, mm, mm, you'll have to rephrase that one. Uh, yeah, you are forgetting me. So we still want to use the same verb um, as in forgot, okay? But we want to have um, another verb with the ing. So we still want to use the forgot. We don't want to add the ing with forgot or forget. But we want to have an extra verb after. 
so for example, um, she, okay, we're talking about a person again. It's always easier to talk about another person, second person. Mm -hmm. She forgot helping was such a rewarding experience, okay? Helping. Helping. So helping with ING. So remember, we're keeping uh, forgot. I, I, I think uh, I need uh, to use uh, forget, uh, forget with uh, Inga. No? You, you can say forget as well. You can use forget, yeah. But it depends how you structure the sentence, okay? Mm -hmm. have, a, have another go. Have a go. See what you can uh, find mm -hmm. or come up with. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one, you know, with the assessment. It's quite hard. But you're doing well. You got the first one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, nice. Mm -hmm. I can say I. Mm, mm -hmm. I uh, I'm, I'm started. Mm -hmm. uh, Forgetting uh, memory and uh, memory. <laughs> I started to forget my memory. Uh, I, 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 I can say uh, uh, I started uh, uh, forgetting, forgetting my, my memory. memory. My yeah, memory. You can yeah, you can say that. I started forgetting my memory. Uh huh. Yep. And how in, would, what would you in this what, moment? So. Yes, very good, very good. So what would you mean by that? What's the meaning of that? I started forgetting my memory. It's a uh, meaning uh, I, I have started <laughs> <laughs> to forget <laughs> memory. And before? Before, uh, before how were you? I, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I'm, uh, I was not forgetting. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. you didn't forget your memory. And now yeah. slowly your memory is starting yeah. to fade. In and this you're moment, yes, yeah, start, start. In this moment in time, yes, yes. Very good, Alex. Very good. Yes, perfect. Um, okay, well, you know, as you know, there is more with the assessment. But we were running out of time because it's nearly eight, nine o'clock. I'm sure you have things to do. Yeah, there are like five questions for okay. infinitives and gerunds. Um, but next time, so definitely try and attend some more of these classes, Alex. Okay, just to get a great grasp of it. Um, and f and make sure you're doing the intermediate level or beginner mm -hmm. level because that's when they're focusing on it for twenty minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, just a bit more practice on the uh -huh. infinitives and gerunds. But you know the, the difference between the two, so that's good. It's just a matter of uh, just... I understand what the, does it mean. I yeah. all understand. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Alex. You're doing well. You're doing well. <laughs> Thank so you. Um, I will wish you the best. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Well, what day is tomorrow? Yeah, I, I think uh, I will be tomorrow. I uh, I have uh, alarmed me. me. <laughs> alarm? You put an alarm on. <laughs> yeah, I usually set um, my alarm uh, uh -huh. to, to your lesson. Uh, oh, <laughs> so set the alarm. Make sure you get up now for the alarm, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm going to be doing tomorrow so you know. I'm sure you know anyway, don't you? Yeah, I, I will have uh, two lessons at 9 uh -huh. and 10 o'clock to, tomorrow. Your lesson. Yes, yes, my lesson at 9. At for me, for me, 9, nine for me. For my Ukraine you got time. me confused there. God, yes, your time. <laughs> I'm just yeah. looking at my time too. Well, yes, I know what you mean. That's good. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I will let you sleep, Alex. Yeah. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Then I yeah. have oh, to. If I I, I will not uh, sleep sleep. <laughs> you won't sleep, Alex. If if I want uh, if I will not sleep, <laughs> I, I will uh, be on your lesson tomorrow. <laughs> if if I don't sleep. If I don't sleep in in tomorrow mm -hmm. e morning. <laughs> ah, if you don't sleep in. Ah, get you. I get you. I didn't understand that one. Yes, I know. Be careful. Make sure you wake up and don't put your alarm on snooze, Alex. Yeah.
because I tend to do that. You know, when you put the when you hit the alarm on snooze like this one. Yes. <laughs> snooze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have uh, uh, um, alarming like. Oh, you do. Oh, you should get the snooze button. But it's very dangerous. But you have to make sure that you snooze it for five minutes or maybe less. Because sometimes when you snooze it, it can be really annoying. But yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Well, listen, I'll let you go. And you have a great, I hope you have a good sleep, Alex. And see you tomorrow. You were great yeah, in the course. lesson. I, I will try. I will try to. You enter. will try. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. If not, then. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah? Uh, I, I I thinking I will not be because uh, I need to meet with my grandma. I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh. My grandmother will go to Russia tomorrow to my oh, parents. Okay. My parents live in Russia. In Russia, but, yes, you were telling but, me. Yeah. But my grandmother live in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is why you moved, isn't it? Because of your grandparents. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But my uh -huh. grandmother want to live, to go to my parents in uh -huh. this uh, new year to celebrate uh -huh. New Year with him, them. So why don't you go there? Why don't you go with your girlfriend to Russia? Well, Russia. Uh, like you go together, you know, because with New Year you guys do everything as a family, is that correct? Yeah? No, yeah, we don't know. We don't want. <laughs> you don't want? Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we, we want to uh, be together with girlfriend. Oh, yes, I know you Alone. want your time. You want your yeah. time, yes. Yeah. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Um, so, well, listen, I wish you all the best on Saturday with meeting your girlfriend. And yeah. say hi to me for, from me. And I hope you can manage to make a lovely dish for her as well. And good luck with the dish, whatever you make. Yeah. And let me know how it goes on Monday then. Okay? Yeah. All right. Well, listen, See, all the best. You too. See you later. Okay. Bye, Alex. Bye. Yeah, bye. Take bye. care. Bye.